Having played their part in Dig for Victory, farmers were then asked to feed the victorious. Hello, my name is Robert Stevenson. I was born in 1935. My family were farmers at Arras Farm Market Wheaton and they had been farmers there for quite a number of years before I was born. I started farming at a young age, doing jobs around the farm such as sweeping up on Saturday mornings. It was still short of food uh, right into the 1950s and we were still encouraged to bring more land into production uh, well into the 50s and, and, and 60s as well. We were encouraged to pull hedges up and pull wood and dig woods up uh, to make more ground for growing wheat and, uh, and crops. On Aris Farm we pulled out, I would think, five or six miles of hedges up. And about 80 and 90 acres of woods were pushed up. The factories which had produced the machines of war started to produce the machines for farms. We then, uh, with, uh, in conjunction with uh, Ransom Simpson Jeffries, that thing was, that was not really in it, that was a Ransom medium thresher made mobile so with a pickup rail on the front so we could pick the swathe up from the other machine. This system laid the, laid the corn in a row on the, on the ground in the field and it was left there to dry and for the, for the grains to harden. With the combine harvester it was left till it was, you left it standing till you, as long as you dare and then Cut it with a combine harvester. They cut a lot of labour out. We more or less stopped. We more or less stopped having the Irish gang. Then we had a, a family of Irishmen came to harvest at Arras. An extended family, or Harris, came to har harvest at Arras uh, every year. And they stopped coming once we started with these harvesting machines. They stopped coming. The first combine that came came from America and it came in a wooden box and we assembled it here. And then uh, after that, I think the year after that, they started building them in, in Europe and uh, we started using them. The way food was sold was also made more efficient by selling it all in one shop and by people serving themselves. This was a supermarket. The first one opened about 1950. We have become so good at producing lots of food that we are now more concerned with how it is produced and the effect on the environment. We now like to buy food locally to reduce food miles and help the environment, like at this farmer's market on the walls at Driffield. The walls are still changing today, for example the crops grown. Some are now being grown for energy, like oilseed rape to make biodiesel or wheat to make ethanol. Others are being grown as a biomass to burn for fuel. This saves us using fossil fuels like oil and coal which release old carbon dioxide and may contribute to climate change. These decisions will affect your future. You will have lots more decisions to make in the future too. Some people in our world are still short of food, so do you think it is okay for us to use wheat for fuel instead of flour? The Yorkshire walls are also harvesting the wind.
Many people don't like a view with wind turbines in.